problem the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him uh, when they went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. Second and 11. Allen's the one who brings him to the ground. Let's talk about this offense today. The former fourth overall pick in the 2008 draft out of Arkansas, Darren McFadden. Boy, I'd just love to see him go one whole season and be completely healthy. He's big. He's got great feet. He can run inside and outside. If he stays healthy, he can still be one of the best running backs in the NFL. This will be ruled incomplete. Didn't get the feet down. Cowboys don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. We'll see what he can do here. And a run back of about six. The Steelers offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play. And Miller fails to hold on to that one. Put it down as a drop. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second and ten. Room to work. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. On the way, third down. Now he's going to change the play. Look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Has his target. That's a tackle right near the 48. You know, when you're catching the football, there's nothing like catching the pass, whether it's short or long, and breaking a tackle and getting a couple extra yards. That makes the quarterback have some confidence in you, and he'll start looking for you more. Matt Spate has the reception. That's his first reception today. Steelers coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Second and three. Has his man. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is it? What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. Has it. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Cowboys go with the dime formation here on defense. The Steelers have it at the 39. And he spins away. Gains 15. Well, that's a really good job by the quarterback that time, breaking the tackle and picking up some yards. The Steelers have it at the 24. Charging ahead. That's a gain of eight. Defensive players, they can't wait to hit the quarterback on something like this. Well, there's your chance 
And what do you do? You miss the tackle. Good play by the quarterback. It's second down and three. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. The Cowboys defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Well, when you got a big lead and you're down near the opposing team's goal line, what do you do? Well, you know what? You line up, you run the football, and just dare the defense. Can you stop us this time, even though you know we're going to run it? What a catch. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. He's got a chance to return this one. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. That returns good for about 26. The Steelers' defense, Phil, has been truly dominant here today. Sometimes when you see a game like this, you go, oh, it might be boring. But this defense has been so dominating and so active in what they're trying to do. It's been fun to watch. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. McFadden solo back set. Romo's going to throw once again on this down. Gates 20. That's his first reception today. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. They come to the line, and it's first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. McFadden's going to take the handoff now. We're back here in the second, ready to get things started. And, Phil, this game is already feeling like it's getting out of hand. Well, when it starts to feel that way, Jim, it's up to the coaches to do something to get their team rolling and get them back on track. Do you do it with some substitution and different players in the game, or you do it with your coaching style? I think your chances are much greater if you try it with your coaching style. Just be more aggressive. That's what happens when you try to Still guess the snap down. count. At the 22-yard line, here they come. Romo lines up in the pistol. Second down and seven. McClendon has the sack. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but would you take those blindside hits? They don't hurt as much as you think because you had no idea it was coming. Your body's loose, and you can absorb the hit. The Cowboys have it at the 34. He'll try this one from 51. field goal attempt is good it's good this guy's a threat anytime you cross midfield really he can kick it from 60 yards great leg strength what a weapon to have on your side and they have this return completely covered tackling him inside the 15 Lawrence is heading back onto the field with the rest of the defense, and he has to be looking for an improvement here because they've been on their heels for most of this first half, partner. They have to be so disappointed about how they're playing and the results, and how do you change that? You do it with effort. They just need a greater effort out there on the defensive side. And you can't say enough about this guy's first half, Phil. He's throwing and running the ball extremely well in this first half. Listen, he's one of the best dual-threat quarterbacks in the NFL. Very talented, and as we are seeing here today, very hard to stop.
Coming up, second down. Has space. They'll mark him at the 34. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Third and six. Trying to plow ahead. He's brought down at the 46. The Cowboys' defense now is going to go nickel. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Looking to go deep. Brown's got it on a pass that had something taken off of it. That's reception number two for him. It's one thing to be able to throw the football that high and far, but it's another. He found the right receiver to throw to and put it right on the mark. Now first and ten. The Steelers get a first down. They were able to move the chains after that last run. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Gets the handle here. Games five. Well, that last play almost got them in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Trying to power his way right up the middle. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Third and goal at the two. Lawrence is the one who made the big stop. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yards. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Cowboys put some points on the board on their previous possession, but it was just a field goal. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Yeah, they will. And, you know, listen, you know, when you talk about touchdown drives, you have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. They got to do better in that situation. If they do, that's going to lead to seven points. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Kill, kill, kill. Oh. Witten split out wide on the right. The Cowboys from the 27. The defense gets the sack. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. Loss of five on the play. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. And so now they'll bring out Jones to punt. Kicking team gets down there and downs the ball. The Steelers are enjoying a dominant time here as they've stretched their lead out with three straight scoring drives and showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon. As I watch this team, I sure don't see them slowing down. It's just everything they're doing has been right on both sides of the ball. And when it's going like this, take advantage of it and try to keep it going in the right direction. They better hurry to get the snap. Going for the deep ball. Unbelievable grab. 